Hello everybody and welcome to another amazing video of DIY investing. I have a special breakdown going over the opportunity that I think is most prime for this next cycle. When we're talking about opportunities that we've already nailed going into this most recent bull run, we've already nailed Arbitrum, we were early to meet us, and then we were early to Optimism and all of those different layer twos. We've made a significant amount of profit trading those. And this is the next opportunity that I see most primed for upside potential. We're seeing TVL breaking all time highs entering price discovery for the first time and as this is happening more volume is coming into some of these markets than ever before as they're 50 x away from all-time highs this is one of the biggest opportunities if not the biggest opportunity i've seen in crypto and i'm super excited to break down what these altcoins are because i know that investors are all about to make a lot of long-term profit very soon thank you guys so much for tuning in and with that being said let's jump right into this amazing video today guys here we are to start off today's video and we are going to be breaking down one of the chains that i think is going to surprise a lot of people going into this next cycle one that most people have faded the entirety to begin this cycle and really one that's provided some of the biggest gains of my portfolio in just a really short period of time i think this is only the beginning before we're about to see way more money coming into this and what i wanted to come over here and look at if we come over to DeFi Llama, this is a good index for looking at DeFi indexes, different chains, analytics, and things like that. And if we come over here and look at the chains, we're going to see the total value locked of all chains. This means all of the value locked inside of smart contracts, participating inside of DeFi. Now we can see Ethereum is obviously at the forefront of all of that. Then we have Tron, Binance Smart Chain. Then we have Arbitrum at number four. So we've been early to Arbitrum. We actually got access to that airdrop, made a good amount of money. It's been actually doing really well for us along with many of the altcoins we accumulated in that ecosystem. Same thing with Solana, another altcoin that we bought at basically the very bottom at $15. It's been one of our better performing altcoins inside of the ecosystem. Now, one of the things that you're going to notice is as you come down here at number 14, higher than Coinbase, higher than Cardano, even higher than the Bitcoin chain, we have Pulse Chain. And this is something that most every single person in the market has looked past. They've thought that it's just some meme chain, that it has no value. But when we come over here and look at Pulse Chain, this is truly the most decentralized chain I have ever seen in the market. When we're looking at how many tokens are actually on centralized exchanges versus decentralized exchanges, it's 0.2%. So almost none of this ecosystem is actually living on centralized exchanges inside of centralized protocols. And this is why it's the most decentralized chain in crypto. Right now, the total value locked is only 497 million. But when we're looking at the all-time graph, this is actually at the point of making a new all-time high. We made a new all-time high with this recent breakout that we saw. And if you guys have been following my channel, we actually called that entire breakout all the way back at the very bottom. We knew that this thing was about to explode. And then it even took off more than I expected, which is always the best you know scenario. That's what we always want to see. Whenever our trades outperform our expectations, that's how we know we got into something really good. So having that confirmation playing out in the charts, seeing, you know, the total value locked peak was at like 492 million. So we're already basically at a new all-time high. This was us breaking out, retesting those prior highs as new support. And now we're about to absolutely send it into price discovery. Looking down here, it's almost completely green. You know, we've seen a lot of upside potential inside of some of these altcoins. And I did want to take the time to actually break down some of my favorites, the ones I've been watching the ones I've been buying the ones I think are going to be providing some of the biggest returns going into this next cycle now guys the very first one I want to talk about isn't actually a token that's trading yet but it's one that's getting ready to launch on pulse chain and I'm most excited for this one when it comes to ROI potential we've seen a lot of these different altcoins do really well break out make massive returns but when we're looking at the TVL just now making a new all-time high it's once the market goes into price discovery that we see the real money coming in and right now I don't see a better opportunity than what we're seeing inside of launch pads. I had the opportunity of working with a number of launch pads inside of the last cycle. I worked with Ferrum Networks personally and you know I followed along with how they did all of their marketing and they became a multi-billion dollar market cap at the top. So when we're talking about how well launch pads perform, they're always one of the focal points over each and every cycle. But this is the first launch pad that's actually community governed as well as offers rev share potential for people that are actually staking and provide liquidity. So by you participating inside of the ecosystem, holding the token, staking and providing liquidity, 
liquidity, you're actually going to be able to earn profits off of all of the launch pads and incubations that go live. So this is actually going to be doing a fair launch. You can check out their socials. I'll link them in the description. But this is a project I'm actually working with personally because once again, I've worked with many launch pads in the last cycle. And this is the first one launching on Pulse Chain. This is the only one I've ever seen community governed on who actually gets to decide what projects launch. And then the rev share, I've also never seen that happen with another launch pad. So make sure you guys check it out. Links are in the description. Now, when we're talking about Hex, Hex is the best one because it's the first. It's the creator of the ecosystem. All of the diehard supporters were, you know, founded by Hex itself, right? All of the people that made all of the money in the last cycle when this thing took off. Those are the reason why the Pulse Chain, you know, community and ecosystem is so powerful. Hex was gate kept by centralized exchanges. It was gate kept by CZ. It wasn't listed on a coin market cap. It wasn't listed on these places. And by default, it became the most decentralized chain because of that. So all of these other cryptos have centralized exchange exposure, and that's generally where they gravitate to getting adoption. Because they were, you know, gate kept from being able to participate in those same sort of resources, we now see that this has actually became the most decentralized alternative. So now they don't even need anything, right? They don't need the partnerships. They don't need all of the rest of the community to help them out. They already have all of the money on chain. And now when everybody's starting the cycle of us moving towards true decentralization, everything's actually bridging on chain. There's not a better position chain than what I see happening over here with Pulse Chain. Now with Hex, this is just the store of value. This is the greatest store of value that exists inside of the market. If you're talking about something that could potentially be used as real DeFi because of the fact it is truly decentralized because of the fact there isn't any sort of centralized exchanges that are holding a large supply of this. It's actually the community, you know, participating, staking long-term, earning that yield inside of the T-shares. And we have seen true decentralization on a way that we haven't actually seen done in my opinion. So when I'm looking at Hex, you know, regardless of your opinions on Hex, we see a perfect reversal pattern playing out in real time. In my last video, we were consolidating after we had just broke out, retesting the range high. And I said how it was looking weak and we were most likely gonna end up coming back down to retest the mid-range. And so far, that's exactly what we've done right here. Now, as it stands, we might end up correcting a little bit lower, but I think that the correction in the short term is over and we will end up trending outside of this resistance. Big picture, we're looking at this thing reversing all the way back up to its main trend line. So ROI potential on this is gonna be massive. It had such an absolutely massive bear mark it just because of the fact you know we had the launch of pulse chain hex got duplicated everybody that held hex actually ended up getting the pulse chain version of hex inside of the airdrop so there's two different chains now two different sources of liquidity and that's why we ended up seeing this have another 90 percent correction approximately so in the short term when we break out of this inverse head and shoulder I'm thinking we run up to this descending resistance. From where we're at right now, you're looking at about almost 3x returns. And I think that once we can get outside of that, you know, we might see a pullback before we're able to do that. But once we get outside of that, I do think that this thing's gonna reverse big picture. You know, because it had such a nasty sell-off, once people realize the value in Pulse Chain, how it's truly the only decentralized alternative we have, how there's obviously a ton of money coming over here, there's getting, there's becoming more TVL in some of these DeFi protocols over here on Pulse Chain than there is on even Ethereum where they have significantly more, you know, money to be able to pull from. So what we see in Pulse Chain is truly, you know, extraordinary. I've never seen anything like it. I'm telling you guys, if any crypto for eight years. I got in early to Bitcoin. I got in early to Ethereum. I got into a number of things really early on, but the opportunity that I see with Pulse Chain is really one of those that kind of blew my mind because I thought that this was just a meme chain. I thought that it was a joke. I thought Richard Hart was a scam, all of those things. And then I started looking into it and I actually realized that what has been created over here is the only real form of DeFi and decentralization that we even have in crypto because of how much dominance actually happens inside of these centralized exchanges. So when we're looking at all of these, assuming the narrative picks up again like I think it will you know a lot of money is going to be made over here and when pulse chain blows up I think hex is going to blow up and I still think that the biggest ROI potential in the you know the hex debate on p hex or e hex it's going to be found buying e hex now coming over here and looking at p hex this is the airdropped duplicated version on the pulse chain network it underperforms but I think that we'll go for periods where it outperforms and it underperforms. They'll just kind of sync up with each other, but they will generally follow each other. Both of them look relatively similar in price, but I think that big picture, this will end up outperforming <clears throat> 
because I just don't think that people are going to value, you know, a duplicated version, an airdropped version, even though it's the same thing, I just don't think they're going to value it quite as much. So that's my thoughts, big picture. You know, that could fluctuate. All of those things are set to change as we get into a full blown bull market. But I do think that it's better off you buying into Hex, eHex for not only short-term ROI, just buying and trading, but if you were to also try and stake this, I think that the best profits are also going to be made buying eHex. Regardless, all of these have broken out. This broke out of both, you know, descending resistances that we had. This one could see, you know, a little bit more of a correction. I also wouldn't even be surprised if it came all the way back down to the mid-range like this before it goes up. But I do think that all of these are going to be, you know, reversing big picture. They all have great volume, new volume, higher highs, higher lows. Even if we see one more lower low in the short term, I still think that this thing's going to be set to reverse very soon. Now coming over here and looking at Pulse, this is going to be Pulse against Die. This is one that we called all the way back at the beginning when we were just correcting back down in here. We knew that we were going into a big picture wave three impulse. That's exactly what we saw here. Wave one, wave two, wave three, wave four. And I do believe that, you know, there is a couple scenarios. Bitcoin could screw everything up and that's always a potential to watch for. Because of the strength we've seen, you know, even if we see a correction in here, assuming we hold support and continue to maintain higher highs, I do believe that we have one more wave five coming. And then the wave count will end up looking something like this. One, two, three, four, and this final move will be our wave five. There is a bearish alternative and it's the same bearish alternative that I've kept the entire time where this is an A, this is a B, and then this ends up being a wave C correction where we just make one more low, basically come all the way back down to 8224 before we end up reversing back up. Those are the two scenarios. It's either one more lower low for a correction and then the move back up, or we're gonna end up seeing one more impulse in the short term. It all kind of rides around what happens right at this wave B, this green uh, box. Right now we're on support. If we start to reject and this turns into resistance, I'm gonna be leaning towards us making a correction. We can still make a correction and hold support, but once again, it's riding around this green box. Bullish above, bearish below. As of right now, we're above, so it's looking bullish, but that can instantly change if Bitcoin corrects. The big picture thing that we're looking at is we know that this thing's gonna still continue to maintain higher highs and higher lows. We know that this thing is one of the most bullish markets because it's gaining a significant amount of volume you know, in the short term over just the last couple of months. Now, coming over over here and looking at PulseX, we're pretty much doing the exact same thing. We finished a wave one and a wave two here. I do think that this is wave three and wave four, and we're now looking at one more impulse to wave five, probably up to about nine, two, five, eight, something like this before we do set in some type of correction back down. You know, we could see a correction all the way back down to the bottom of this wave four, more or less just coming back into contact with this wave A, wave B, leading into our final lower low before we get our big picture reversal because all we're really looking at right here once we complete this first impulse and we get this correction all we're really looking at is this one two and then we're starting a big picture wave three and if i share with you guys examples of prior cycles that have gone into wave threes i mean it's just absolutely insane what you know the type of roi potential you can get now the thing and the truth of the matter when we're looking at these you know it does have almost an $8 billion market cap. It is fully diluted, so that helps. And then there's $54 million of liquidity. That is great liquidity. $54 million is no joke. Now, what's actually hilarious is if we even come over here and compare, you know, the liquidity that we're seeing over here on PulseX at $54.5 million of liquidity versus what we see over here on Uniswap, you're only looking at like half the liquidity that PulseX has. So if that doesn't already share with you guys how much value is already existing on the Pulse Chain Network, I don't know what will, because if it already has more value than Uniswap by double, like, and nobody even knows about it, can you imagine what's gonna happen when people start knowing about it and continue to bridge money on chain? Like I'm saying guys, the TVL is not even $500 million on Pulse Chain. So all of these projects gaining all of this momentum big picture, I think that these things are going to do phenomenal. Literally what we're looking at with this is just a big wave one, wave two, and then a wave three is just going to absolutely send this thing into a massive new all-time high, regardless of how much market cap's in it right now, because people don't realize how much money can come onto a truly decentralized chain when you're not competing with, oh, wow, we're only an American version of this exchange, so only Americans can buy this token. Well, we're decentralized, so everybody can buy it, and we don't care who buys it, so there you go. That's why there's so much more money by being truly decentralized centralized and why people just really don't realize the value of being completely on chain. Now, next up is going to be liquid loans. This is another one of my favorites that I've been watching. What we've recently done is broken from our descending resistance. Now, if you guys notice, we had been kind of making 
all of these lower lows and lower highs trending below this descending resistance. Finally, we got this big breakout right here. We have the volume to line up, new volume coming in, bigger than the prior cycle, high volume, classic you know, market cycle. And not only is that happening, but it took place right as we retested this prior level. So if you guys remember, when we were all the way up here consolidating, just starting to break out, you know, if you guys remember, my video about this was right in here when we first started moving. And I said how we're most likely gonna break out and then if we see a correction, we're gonna end up retesting this prior level before getting a new all-time high. And that's the exact same analysis that we followed. All, all this is is a wave one, a wave two, and we're getting ready for a wave three. If you guys remember looking at PulseX, that was the same move on my first videos covering this ecosystem when we were right over in here. I said how this was a wave one and a wave two, and we're getting ready for a wave three. And that's exactly what ended up happening. So when we're looking at liquid loans, it's in a wave one and it's in a wave two. We finish wave two with this breakout right here, new volume, that shows wave three starting. When we're looking at minimum targets based off Fibonacci, from the low to the high, back to the low of where this bottomed. Minimum target is the 1618. But remember guys, we had the same targets for PulseX and PulseChain and PulseX tagged the 3618 all the way up in here. So we can have the potential where this thing runs really high, but just to the 1618 2.5x, 2618 4x, 3618 5.5x. So the ROI on these are going to be insane. So far, everything we're seeing in the technicals is exactly what you'd want to see. You know, buying a wave two, going into that wave three is the most profitable move you can get. This is where smart money buys, so watch out for liquid loans. Next up is gonna be ink against Dai, and look how much freaking volume came in on this breakout. And look how far we are away from those prior all-time highs. We go to a line chart, and I just look at this and get so excited. Like, it, it, it actually blows my mind that I'm at a loss of words for how much volume is in here and how far away we are from that all-time high. Like, when I look at this, the potential of life-changing opportunities in this ecosystem is truly astounding. And any project launching on Pulse Chain is going to absolutely moon because there's almost no competition and there's all of this money on chain. It's, it's the best combination I've ever seen. I've, I've literally never seen anything like it. Looking all the way at the all-time high, you're looking at a 20X. So, I mean, you're not going to get quite as good of an entry as what you would have got. But if you followed my video and you bought all the way down here at the re-entry point, you're already up 80% plus. So, looking at this thing to where it's going to go, even though you're not buying at the perfect point, I still think that this one is going to absolutely send it into a new all-time high and people are going to absolutely be and people are going to be absolutely blown away by how much money actually comes into these things this was my dark horse candidate the one people were fading because it was a rewards token but the one that obviously showed the most volume and momentum which is why i've been following it so much so definitely watch out for ink now guys looking out for one that we just recently have been looking at we pretty much called this breakout right in here looking at hedron one that got absolutely dumped on inside of the bear market but i think that this thing is setting up for some big returns you know overall this thing has made this big rounded bottom formation and we're just starting to see new volume coming in we're just starting to break out of these resistance levels and as we've broken out of descending resistance too i think that we're pretty much at the point where we're going to make a full reversal now we have a few different levels and the rois of these things are going to be insane you know just analyzing level to level we can look at a couple different ones just to give you guys a little bit of a perspective of specific ROIs that you could get, because everything in this Pulse Chain ecosystem is now starting to break out. And this is a 5.5x, this is a 7.5x, this is a 10x, this is a 15x. Those are just to the prior resistance levels. And there's a lot of new volume coming into these things. And like I stated, guys, new all time highs in the TVL means new all time highs uh, in money coming into the market across the board. So, with all of these showing massive volume coming in, huge breakouts, full reversals, like, I mean, it, I don't see this happening in a lot of other markets quite to this extent. So definitely pay attention for Hedron. Now guys, next up is going to be Fame. This is the GMX fork over here on Pulse Chain. Now when we're looking at this, it's been consolidating right at these range highs, awaiting a move into price discovery. Um, now I don't know if this thing was added to exchanges all the way up here and it just instantly died or what that means, but I think that's what that means. So technically it's not a new all time high. It's people having to regain, you know, all of that lost value from the start. But when we're looking at this thing, 
I think that we're going to end up seeing this thing reversing and it will be short term price discovery. There is new volume coming in here. There's not a ton of liquidity inside of this exact pair. I think that once we see a lot more money bridging over here, we're going to see people gravitate over to fame because this is where you can actually leverage trade a lot of these pairs. So if you want to make money leverage trading some of these, which is absolutely insane when we're looking at the ROI potentials, this is really one of my favorite picks going into this cycle for Pulse Chain because I do think it's going to get a lot of value in it long term. Now, guys, looking at nine inch, this is a meme coin. Um, playing off of the eggplant meme, which I don't need to go into detail about that. I think you guys get it. But talking about this one, I like the chart. It looks really solid. Good volume coming in here on this recent breakout. We can see that we also had a good amount of divergence playing out. If we pull up our indicators, one of my favorite indicators is the OBV. And we can see that we had a significant amount of bullish divergence, maintaining higher highs and higher lows you know, ever since right here, we saw a lower low and this thing just kept grinding all the way back up. So having the finalization and the confirmation of that, it gives us an encouraging sign with the new volume. There's a couple different parallels. There's a couple different things lining up at the same time. And when we're looking at this thing, I love these type of setups because I know for a fact they're about to reverse. And if we're looking at this thing actually reversing from right here, just to the prior all time highs, it's like a four and a half X, but this only has, you know, $14 million total market cap. They're going to go into a new all time high. And if you're looking for something that's a little bit more undervalued than PulseX per se with seven and a half billion, I think that this is a really good pick to be watching. I think it's going to perform really well. And they do have pretty solid liquidity considering they only have 14 million market cap. Now watch out for nine inch. Looking over here, the best meme coin inside of the Pulse Chain ecosystem, and that is Teddy Bear. This thing has been on an absolute tear. I'm up, you know, probably three or four X at this point from where I bought down in this bottom. And this thing has new volume coming in here, very consistent volume. In the short term, this thing could, you know, kind of correct in here. It's looking a little bit sketchy. But at the same time with these meme coins, these are so powerful and we've only ever had one cycle. So this thing can easily just start really moving in a quick way. It really depends what Bitcoin does. If Bitcoin corrects, the rest of the market's going to correct. And that's just customary. And that's why we should always be aware of what Bitcoin is doing in the short term. Bitcoin is approaching resistance. So if Bitcoin did see a sell-off, I think that all of these will pull back in the short term as well. But that's an opportunity for everybody to get in at a better price, in my opinion. It has nothing to do with changing the long-term trend. This thing is just approaching those prior all-time highs. So even in a correction, we're going to see this thing going into price discovery very soon. It's got more liquidity than some of the other cryptos and it's got $23.2 million. It's got a diehard community. It's got a great supporting cast of people that already like this project or supporting it as far as influencers go. You know, this, uh, the Twitter page follows me and I actually support this project. I believe that this will be the Dogecoin of Pulse Chain. And so with $23 million market cap, $2.3 billion market cap, 100x from here, in my opinion, it's going to hit that. It'll surprise people. You know, people th say I'm stupid for saying that, but you know, I've been early to so many things before they've played out. I've made so much money in these markets. And this is that opportunity inside of the market in Pulse Chain and all of these ecosystem plays that I just see playing out absolutely massively. Now, coming up over here, last up in today's video is going to be ZKZX. This is going to be the Tornado Cash fork. And basically, if you don't know what Tornado Cash was, it was a Bitcoin mixer. Uh, actually, it was an Ethereum mixer, but you could mix a number of different currencies. And you basically, you know, deposit your Ethereum or whatever currency, and then it mixes it with a number of other transactions and then it makes it anonymous so you can't be tracked so a lot of these darknet vendors will require you to use a mixer before uh, depositing you know crypto onto their exchanges to be able to buy sell and trade and do illegal things so a lot of people end up using the mixers they also use them for a number of different illegal purposes hiding taxes and things like that and so this is going to be that on pulse chain at only 3.2 million dollars market cap 360k liquidity that's great liquidity for a starting project overall all we've done in my opinion is a wave one, a wave two, and we're working on this wave three. Overall, we have good consistent inclining volume. And with the price already in a price discovery, don't be surprised if this thing really starts to take off in a big way. So far, it's been one of the better performing ones at small market cap. These are great long-term holds. There's no competition on the market. And if you believe that Tornado Cash has value, imagine Tornado Cash with a token attached to it. And that's this. Anyways, guys, this is the video I had for you. I wanted to break down all my favorite cryptos inside of this market. Now, each one of these cryptos, I think are going to end up being good long-term holds regardless of what they are. Do your own due diligence. But when we're talking about a chain that I think is just going to absolutely blow up, catch a lot of people by surprise, 
do some of the biggest ROI potential over the course of the entire cycle because it really is the only real decentralized chain that we have because of their you know value that exists only on chain and not on centralized exchanges, not in centralized de uh, lending protocols and anything like that. We see real decentralization happening in Pulse Chain. You guys got to remember that I got into crypto all the way back in 2016. I got into Bitcoin because I believed in being your own bank. I believed in being more libertarian, everybody having their own viewpoints, but us being able to collaborate on a better you know financial system and then where Bitcoin went from there is so different like with the ETF everything has changed all of those other cryptos the Ethereum was never even close to what Bitcoin was to begin with it just ended up performing well it's just that what we see in all these cryptos is they've merged with the normal world to a point where we've lost the original values of the community. And with Pulse Chain, I saw those original values of why I got into crypto. And then I saw people that, you know, fully supported everything. Nobody would let them in on centralized exchanges and on any of these, you know, hosting websites to look at, you know, data and information on the chain because they hated them. So basically they built their own and now they don't need anybody's help. They're completely decentralized. And people don't see the value in that because they haven't been in crypto long enough. I've been in crypto for eight years going into my third bull run. I see the value in these things before they end up playing out because I've just had the time in the market, guys. And I wouldn't ever shill you guys any bull crap. These are all things I genuinely believe in. And this is the chain that I think is going to surprise people the most going into this next bull run. In the same way Hex surprised everybody in the last cycle, we're going to see the same thing playing out once again inside of the Pulse Chain ecosystem. The only difference is there's going to be a number of new tokens at small market caps that we can trade and invest in that are ultimately going to garnish a ton of adoption long term. So guys, if you found value in this, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of these videos. If you guys want to see how I'm investing long term, any altcoins I'm buying, selling, trading, links are in the description to go ahead and sign up on my website to get access to my private group. That's where I post everything I'm doing with my portfolio. If you guys want to ever follow along with what I do with my money long term, look no further than my website linked in the description. Thank you guys so much for the support. I appreciate you guys. I love you guys. And I'm thankful for that we have so many supporters from the Pulse Chain and Hex communities. You know, this is only the beginning and I'm happy to be supporting because I I really do believe in true decentralization that's why i got into crypto and i see that happening in real time and it's the last chain that i see that actually existing in so watch out pay attention and watch us kill it over this next cycle thank you guys so much for tuning in and with that being said i'll catch you in the next one as always peace out